This video will describe how to connect and configure a UX90005 or 006 light and occupancy logger. When you connect up your USB cable to your logger, it will appear in the bottom left hand corner as connected. Click on device, launch. In the launch screen, you can see that you can put in a, um, a description that will be your file name. When you read out the data, it shows you the serial number of the logger, how many times it was deployed. It's a tip. That's a typical. This is a typical um, launch configuration for any U series logger. This logger has two internal sensors. One measures light on off. The other measures occupancy. You have two modes for each one of these internal channels, state or runtime. If you select state, it will, at a one second resolution, tell you when the lights come on, how long they're on for, when they go off. Same with occupancy. When it's occupied, how long it's occupied for, and when it becomes unoccupied. And that's at a fixed one second sampling rate. If you select runtime, you will see that down below here, the logging interval becomes active. What this means is that it's still looking every, uh, every second for a light on off event. However, it will accumulate those over a logging interval in this case of five minutes. It will also do that for occupancy. And it will display that data as either percent or time on or off or percent or time occupied unoccupied. And you can see that will change when we select runtime. The other configuration you want to be careful of or be aware of is under advanced. This gives you the ability to choose a calibration. Uh, you can calibrate the light sensor for ambient conditions. And you can, we always suggest using the calibrate function. But you could also set it to either maximum, automatically set it to automatic uh, or, uh, maximum or minimum values um, by default. We always suggest using Calibrate from Logger, though. The other um, advanced sensor properties that you want to be aware of is occupancy. You, this is your um, lockout time. So this is the period of inactivity required to consider the area unoccupied. You don't want to set that too aggressively, uh, but it really depends on your application. Um, typical occupancy switches, I believe, are set to either five or 10 minutes, but you can set it all the way down to 10 seconds, or you can put in a custom value, uh, any combination of minutes or seconds, I believe up to 15 minutes. For more information on using HoboWare and our Hobo loggers, you can click on Help, HoboWare Help in HoboWare application. You can consult your HoboWare user's guide, or you can go to our website, onsetcomp.com. Thank you.